Hello everyone, I'm Mike Mullenberg with Pacific Cruising Yachts in Anacortes, Washington. We're here today to give you some overview points of a brand new listing we just brought on the market, a 2001 Dragonfly 1200 Flying Kefi. Uh, this boat left Portugal about three years ago, it was purchased by the current owner and sailed down into the Canaries south, south of the uh, Bahamas, came across through Panama Canal up to Hawaii and then eventually ended up in Anacortes, Washington. Uh, we just listed this boat and we'd like to walk through a few of the features of it. So a lot of the work that the current owner had done, uh, he had done at the various yards as he made his trip around. One of the most important things that he had done was he had the entire Amas and the Akas disassembled, removed, and then replaced all of the fittings, the bolts and the nuts that hold everything together. And the plates that they use on the inside here, and we got a better shot on the other side, uh, those were 3M5200 to the Akka underside. So it's a much better, stronger bond. This side's probably a little bit easier to see. Uh, these are all brand, brand new bolts. This entire plate was pulled off, cleaned up, and then when they reattached it, they 3M5200 bonded it and then through bolted it and also put new cover plates on all of the access points. So from a servicing and maintenance in the future, it's going to be a lot easier to get at and a lot easier to take care of. The other thing Chris did is, the uh, Chris is the current owner, he uh, replaced all of the rub rails all the way around, all the way around the uh, main hull. So uh, everything that he's ever touched, he either upgrades it or makes sure that it's working properly. All the new rigging, new mast, all the running rigging is brand new, brand new sails. So this boat is really well updated, upgraded. Engine was pulled, all rubber hoses, anything degradable was replaced. Engine is still in great working operation. Uh, new shaft was put in. Uh, new coupler, put an isolator, galvanic isolator between the shaft and the transmission, uh, which wasn't there again before. So it's a much better protected boat from galvanic corrosion. Dragonfly 1200 has an extended bow platform is probably the best way to use. It's a sprit that hangs out over the front of the boat about three and a half feet. Great place for positioning the anchor roller and it keeps the anchor away from the bow. Uh, nice little step forward. Brand new furling system on this boat. Uh, nice double opening door for the anchor locker. You can see that the hulls are just amazingly shiny. Uh, Chris had the boat repainted when he was uh, working his way down through the islands in the Caribbean. And uh, it's like incredibly great shape. Uh, working our way back here, another example of the parts and pieces that hold the Akas and the Amas together. This is the Akka, this is the Ama, and these components were all disassembled and all new hardware replaced and then 3052 the plates back on. And then, uh, Additionally, with the new spar, all the new running rigging was done, and uh, he just completed all new canvas, and actually had a refab dodger to raise the height just a little bit, because Chris is about 6'2". Uh, so it's actually better visibility when underway with the canvas up. The current owner had the tire bottom stripped, and then he had copper coat, 10-year guaranteed bottom paint applied. It's an epoxy-based paint system. It's a hard finish and it's intended such that you scuff it and it basically takes off any of the accumulated, uh, accumulated material uh, and brings new copper to the surface. Uh, so it's an extremely hard finish, very good anti-fouling properties and very eco-friendly. So we're in the cockpit on the Dragonfly 1200. It's a good sized cockpit. The seat tanks are long enough to sleep on. Uh, Chris had an entirely new canvas system installed recently. Uh, he had the windshield, if you will, replaced and raised to give better visibility. And so he had a new aluminum piece welded and new uh, 
new windshield pieces installed and all this canvas is new and you can see that it's got side panels removed those can be attached as well as the back can be closed in for an entirely enclosed cockpit then the back section is removed and the angles are such that the main sheet system coming off the boom can operate with the bimini top up connected to the dodger so in sunny conditions equatorial conditions you get sun shade and still can run the boat with the sides open for sheeting and the main sheet system back here we're in the back cabin on the dragonfly 1200 it's amazing how much space they put in this boat for a 40 foot long offshore trimaran the uh, back stateroom, if you will, has a, a thwartship sleeping double. Uh, it's full of gear right now, but it's got storage on either side behind me and then above. Uh, this standing area is a clothing change area. You have access to the head on the port side. And then there is a storage locker here to the starboard side. And then these steps kind of flip up out of the way to give you more what I call standing room dressing area. And then with the lid that pops open, this can be open and get fresh air ventilating through. And they've got opening ports at each point all the way around, four opening ports with light and air moving in. So on the Dragonfly 1200, a good sized cockpit. The helm position is ideally engineered, set up. Uh, compass, bow thrusters set up here. Uh, anchor windows set up here, autopilot set right here, and an upgraded hybrid touch Raymarine sharp ladder.